but uh, it takes a little bit more for victory against some of these things, as that was happening just this week. The EPA is now proposing new regulations that will make breast cancer, which the gene test was all about detecting your risk of breast cancer. Well, now that risk is going to go through the ceiling if these new EPA regulations are going to go through. And in an article today, Natural News pointed out that uh, this is a time where the EPA is looking at uh, getting public comment, and very few people are leaving public comment. They say this is an urgent action alert from Natural News and the Health Ranger. Public comments are due by July 1st, that's only a couple of weeks away, to object to new EPA regulations which are already in place allowing glyphosate contamination of food crops. Now that is Monsanto's Roundup, that's the scientific name for it, glyphosate. Allowing that to contaminate food crops, edible oils, and waterways at concentrations which are thousands of times higher, thousands of times higher than the amount needed to cause cancer. It allows forage and hay tef to contain up to 100 parts per million glyphosate. That's over a 1 million times the concentration needed to cause cancer. It allows oilseed crops, such as flax oil, canola oil, soybean oil, olive oil, etc., to contain up to 40 parts per million of glyphosate, over 100,000 times concentration needed to cause cancer. And the EPA says that no one even commented on all of this when it was initially filed. And there were no comments received in response to the notice of filing. Since then, a total of only 396 people have posted a public comment at the time of this story being published today. That's right, only 396 people had left a comment. And of course, that is something that's important to go in and comment on that from the EPA. They take your silence as an excuse, as your approval, your silent approval. So don't give them that approval. Tell them that you're very much opposed to them increasing the glyphosate allowances on crops and waterways. As the article pointed out, it's several thousand times, a hundred thousand times, a million times in some of these cases. What we know is a level that increases the rate of breast cancer and other forms of cancer by several hundred percent. So it, it was 500, uh, 500 percent, I believe, to a uh, thousand percent, which is like five to ten times uh, what you would normally have as risk. So at the same time, we get some positive news from the Supreme Court saying that it is now going to be more affordable for people to do tests to assess the risk of breast cancer. The EPA then turns around and is, going, is proposing regulation that is going to allow Monsanto to have Roundup runoff that is going to send the risk of breast cancer and other forms of cancer through the roof. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.